One of the biggest battles that you'll have in your life is that with the mind. And what we mean by that is mental health and the battle that goes on within. And with 1010 coming up and Mental Health Day being on 1010, covered with the fact it is the 1010 portal, I figured I'd just come on and give you a potential outlook as to what you can expect or what the background is. So with 1010, we've got the number one twice. So it's obviously magnified. And number one is all about change and new beginnings. And the zero, which is also magnified appearing twice, is all about infinite potential and creation. And when you combine the two in the way that they are done and coupling that with mental health, then you kind of have to have a look at the symbolism and the potential correspondence that goes on between the two of them in order to have a better understanding of exactly what we might be facing or coming up with. And with both of these, we have the fact that we have the transformation element, which is magnified on Mental Health Day. And we have the fact that the spiritual and the human side of things will also come into play. And what we will start to see is a distinct transformation from one identity to another identity. And that identity itself then is dependent upon what lessons and learning we have going on in the background. But in order to have these lessons and learnings, we have to get rid of the old identity. That old identity is primarily stored within the brain. Because what you think you are and who you thought you were and who people thought that you thought you were, which then became a thought about who you were, and as you can see, it gets quite tricky, then becomes the person that you show up as. Because ultimately, in the first instance, we have to cope and we have to survive. And that's the primary function. And everything that we build and everything that we set up is actually based around that functionality. And that functionality then has to serve us in the moment. And when it serves us in the moment, we then have a setup that would appear on the face of it as being safe and secure. But the problem we have is that after that moment, we don't ever go back and review what we did, or we don't ever go back and review every other instance that then appears because of how we originally dealt with these original events. And when we come and have a look at all the fragments and the sections that can correspond with this, we then have to start peeling back different layers and we then have to dive deep into exactly what's in the psyche and the mind in order to potentially go and clear anything that no longer serves us. And when these things no longer serve us, we then have to start sifting through them. But by this time, and by the time we've actually realised that there is something to do, we've built layer upon layer of our existence on top of these mini existences, which were unprocessed events and traumas that then eventually get stored for us then to operate subconsciously. And when the subconscious operates 95% of our life, the question then becomes what's actually in there and what's driving our day to day? And then ultimately, do they now stay or do we decide to work and heal them in order to then get to a position whereby we can have a more aligned existence? And that more aligned existence will then allow us to show up more authentically. And when we show up more authentically, we magnetically attract things to us. But circumnavigating back to the original point about mental health, we have to go through masculine feminine dynamics. We have to go through who we believe we are based on our interactions from our parents because ultimately we're 50% one and 50% the other. And somewhere we have ways of dealing and processing these things. And when they don't quite function, it starts to give us a bit of discontinuity in our lives. And when we have that discontinuity, we then start to break down mentally and the mental structures will then show in multiple ways. And the multiple ways that these can show is you'll start to get headaches. You'll start to get cluster headaches, migraines, and things along those lines, because ultimately the structures that are the voices in your head will have to start showing themselves once they've been there for too long in the physical. And that physical will then manifest as pain. And that manifestation as pain will then give you a guidance system. And that guidance system itself will then get to a position whereby it gets worse before it gets better. 
the reason it gets worse before it gets better is because we have to be highlighted or drawn to the point that we have to deal with or we have to focus on or that is drawn to our attention for healing in that specific moment. And then because we have that specific moment where it's drawn to us, we then have the opportunity to change, to transform and to create a new identity that ultimately then becomes the new version of ourselves. And that new version of ourselves, like a version 2.0, should be a better version than the original because what we're doing is we're continuously improving through small incremental steps. And these will show and present over time. And as they show and present over time, we can then start to chip away at anything that isn't truly aligned with who we are or the person that we're becoming. So when we have the opportunity to reflect on Mental Health Day, we have to start empowering ourselves from a place of getting enough knowledge and information. And the information is actually the formation of yourself from the point of birth through to now. And once we understand a bit more about who that is, and once we understand how these structures are built, then we can start actually helping ourselves to change and make the necessary changes. Whereas most of the societal constructs don't actually understand exactly how it goes on and how it functions. So we need to start looking and exploring and getting inquisitive as to who we are in order to then give ourselves the best possible conditions within which to thrive. And then that becomes our mental state and we can then subsequently refine that as we go and project outwardly moving onwards. So there's a bit of background, but as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.